us again today. A few questions if we can indulge your time. Yes. What does this sport of windsurfing mean to you on a day-to-day -day basis? On a day-to-day -day basis it basically means one thing. Freedom. You are free to go whatever you, wherever you want to go and do basically windsurfing. Whatever you want to do. So. We depend on wind, but it basically freedom. Do you think about it all the time, or some of the time? If it's windy, I think about windsurfing all the time. You're also a kiteboarder. Of the two, which do you prefer to do? I enjoy windsurfing way more than kiteboarding at this point. However, due to the geographical location where I live, and wind conditions, kite surfing sometimes takes up to 50% of my time out on the water. But if I would have a choice, I would do windsurfing all the time. Only it has to be small board, small sail. You recovered from a very tragic kiteboarding accident. The yes. wind dragged you down the beach over a set of stairs, up a brick wall, your kite was in the tree and so are you. Yes. How long was the recovery from that? The recovery? Well... I was in the hospital for I think seven or eight weeks and then off work for three months and couldn't kiteboard or windsurf for a year and I actually rushed myself back into because I couldn't be without it. So at least a year. How did you feel when people were reluctant that you ever kite or windsurf again and were you were actually told no? Yes, one of the doctors I still remember talking and he's like, well, do you realize that you might have to quit sports that you do? And in the back of my head, I was just like, I know you're a doctor, I know you're smart, but there is no way I'm quitting sports that I do. Yeah, you've heard the expression, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Do you think there's truth in that as far as you're concerned? Yes, it might not be physically stronger, but it's emotionally stronger and mentally stronger stronger so it is true you're not only a windsurfer and a kiteboarder but uh, you kayak you mountain bike uh, you snowboard are you an adrenaline junkie yes and no it depends who's rating me like I don't consider myself adrenaline junkie but there are multiple people who would say I am adrenaline junkie in my mind, adrenaline junkies are people who just go and do some, like, and they follow philosophy, go big or go home. They don't care about enjoyment. I try to enjoy everywhere and everything I do. Do you think that uh, windsurfing and kiteboarding are addictive? They are definitely addictive. How do you view that aspect of your life when somebody says you're very selfish with your time when it comes to wind? Well, I view it as that's part of life. You know, in order to do something, you have to kind of not ignore, but to avoid something else. And quite often it's viewed as I'm selfish, but Otherwise, it would be impossible to do. Would it be windsurfing, kiteboarding, snowboarding, mountain biking? You just have to do when condition. You have to go there when conditions are correct. And if you have to change plans last minute, well, that's the way life is. It's addictive in a positive way because you are looking forward spending time outside, enjoying yourself, not going shopping. Let's say. Windsurfers do go shopping, but <laughs> we go shopping differently. You don't know when it will happen. You have to be selfish to make plans to go when, if wind changes. 
but again it's selfish in a positive way <laughs> yeah and selfish that other people might think that they're not as important as your windsurfing but to you life is well life is adventure basically and uh, you have to live your life that the way so you have no regrets mistakes are part of the life regrets are part of the life and sometimes you might rearrange your plan show up to the beach and the wind would never show up but you have to be there enjoy yourself enjoy the company and come home not with negativeness in your mind be like oh shit there was no wind in me.